Hey guys, Jen here from Main Street USA and Magic Kingdom. I'm here because today I'm going to do something we haven't done in well over a year, and that is a full walkthrough of the Main Street Emporium. But first, there's something I got to show you, so follow along. What I wanted to show you was the new Tomorrowland entrance arch. And ooh, I do not like it at all. The actual words of Tomorrowland are so small, but it does look like there's neon in there. So, hmm, I bet you it probably looks really cool at night. I'll reserve judgment until I see it at night. It's so busy here today. It's a Monday. Why is it so busy here? So when you first walk in from the hub, you walk into the homeware section. This is where you're gonna find all your little tchotchkes, coffee mugs, plates, dishes, things of that nature. Now because of how big the Emporium is, I'm not going to break down every item. I'm just gonna show you a quick overview of everything in all the sections. And if I see something new or fun, I will specifically point that item out. And right inside that door, they do have um, a pressed penny machine. It does have a Chippendale 2019, a Walt Disney World Let the Memories Begin Sorcerer Mickey, and an Anna and Elsa Frozen Penny. They also have the new this new housewares line here. So I've seen this in the Contemporary Resort, I've now seen it here and at World of Disney. This I haven't seen before, this is a princess water globe. It just has some iridescent snow and it has all of the princesses on it. It is $54.95. And it does play Once Upon a Dream from Sleeping Beauty. They do have a bunch of different kitchenware stuff like tea towels and stuff. This is not as large of a selection as there is in the home section of World of Disney. I feel like this was a horrible idea because it is packed in here, but it's about 10 minutes till the parade. So I'm hoping once people hear the parade music, they'll like run outside and I'll have a place to myself. There is a second doorway from the hub. This is like across from, or diagonal to City Hall. When you come in here, this is where the phone cases are, the pins are, magic bands, and Christmas ornaments. Kind of a very random selection of stuff in this area. The ornaments that they have do change um, occasionally, so you're not necessarily going to find the ones you see today when you come and look. But if there's any you don't see, you would be able to find them in either um, the Christmas store here, in uh, Liberty Square or at Days of Christmas in Disney Springs. And they have a whole section with just magic bands. Now, I don't see any that are new. Like, there's no this just in. I don't see any that we haven't seen before. They range in price from $14.99 for the solid color ones up to $29.99. A, if they have an A on the back, it's $24.99. If they have a B on the back, it's $29.99. Now with these DTEC cases, you're mostly only gonna find iPhone cases, and I found out that that's because the camera placement on other phones, like the Samsungs, is in a different place, and sometimes, like if the camera was down here, it would disrupt the image, so they won't print on those cases. That's why you almost only find iPhone cases. And they have just a small selection of pins here. There is an actual pin store here in the park. It's in Frontierland. It's called Frontierland Pin Traders. And there's a much bigger selection of pins there. And they have a very small selection of candy and snacks. Now it's only a very small selection because directly across, so if you exited out the Emporium right there, directly across, is the Main Street Bakery, and that's where they have the full selection of items. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. Here is a Lion King patch from the Patch D set. Rafiki holding up Simba. And then they also have this adorable Chip and Dale one. I love it. And these are, because they're single patches, they're $9.99. They do have a pretty good selection of the different patches here. This is probably the best selection I have seen um, in any of the stores anywhere. And also, if you play the game Sorcerers of the Magic Kingdom, they still sell the booster packs that include seven spell cards. If you are a completer for the Sorcerers of the Magic Kingdom, the only way to complete the full collection is through the booster packs because there are 
can only remember how many cards that you can only get through buying the booster packs. And it is random, so you could go through quite a few booster packs before you find them, and they're $14.99 each. But this also is a board game, so that if you wanted to play at home, you could get just one of these, and then you can play the game. So you could reuse your cards at home, and you don't have to only play it here. They do have a small selection with like magnets, keychains, um, some more little tchotchkes, and then all the photo frames. And then we move into the toy section, and this is gonna be where most of the plushes are. I remember when these came out and everybody, it was a mad rush to get them. They were always sold out. They were like, there's only like 2,500 of them in existence. Once they're gone, they're gone. And now they just keep getting them back in. So they're not as rare as they thought they were, but they are still amazing. They're like the original throwback Winnie the Pooh toys. And it looks like Winnie the Pooh, Tigger, and Eeyore are all $34.99 and Piglet is $26.99. Oh my gosh, I want this one. I love Mary Poppins. It's like one of my favorite Disney movies. Um, these are the, the Disney, what is it called? Classic Cozy Knits. These are like something your grandma would make. They're um, just knitted. They have a bunch of different ones. They have Oswald, Minnie, Steamboat Willie. Actually, is that Minnie? Yeah, that's Minnie. Steamboat Willie, this is Perdita, and one of the penguins. And I can't remember if I said the price or not, but they're all $27.99. And then they have just a wall of the larger plush. And it looks like if anything's $26.99 each, they are now $22 when you buy two. $22 each when you buy two. They have a bunch of the dream friends here. They did have a stitch and an angel over in the stitch wall. Sully's very weird looking, but these are crazy. They're $34.99. My kids always love their pillow pet versions. Then we get into like the straight up toys. It's gonna to be where you find like the mini, uh, like the monorail trains, the cars, the actual character toys from the different movies. They have a bunch of puzzles. Oh my gosh, Kay is so gonna want that Jack Skellington one. They actually have a very good selection of puzzles here. I love this one. It's a 60th anniversary. It's three 500 piece puzzles. Ooh, for $21.99, that's not bad. And these are like the original posters, so this is something where you could like glue and frame them afterwards. They also have a bunch of the theme park theme board games. We have the Monopoly, Candyland, Battleship, Clue. And this one I haven't seen before, it's Perfection. And it has icons from all of the Walt Disney World parks. That's awesome. They also have a bunch of bath toys, and these are great for your little ones. I see Monst. Oh, this is all, this is a Pixar one. This has all the icons of the Pixars. They have a Nemo, Seven Dwarfs. They have a Little Mermaid, and then the Anna, Elsa, and Olaf down at the bottom. Then we have a very small Disney Junior section. Actually, I literally only see Vampirina. Then we get into the vinyl toy figures and the kind of princess section of toys. Then as we come out of toys, we move into hats and ears. And this is where they keep all of the hats and all of the ears that they currently have on display. So they have a whole bunch of the current available mini ears. Which is interesting that they have Slinky Dog here since he's over in Hollywood Studios. They have a bunch of different hats. Oh, that one's cute. The Mickey Premium Bar all sparkly one. They have some visors, some kind of sun hats. Still kind of want that salty one. And they have a whole rack of the kind of Halloween party themed ears. So ones that would go with the costumes and then the Dia de los Muertos and the straight up Halloween ears for this year. Then we move into the next section of the Emporium, and this is kind of like the current section. So this is gonna be, if there's an event going on, like the Halloween party, it's all Halloween. After this, it'll switch to the Christmas merch, and all the Christmas merch will be here. Whenever there's a new line released, like right now, all the 50th anniversary merch for Haunted Mansion is there, because that's all new stuff. When, um, like the Magic Mirror collection, the Imagination Pink, this is where you go to find it in this section of the store. <gasps> I haven't seen this before, this is so cute. It says, it's a t-shirt, it says point me to the candy and has this like um, sleeve to it. And then it comes with the tutu. <gasps> it's 50, it's $60 for this? Are you kidding me? Oh, but it has, it's a skirt with shorts built into it, but still that's an insane amount of money for a toddler outfit. 
So then as we come out of this section, we head into boys and girls, and this is where all the kids' stuff is. And one other thing you'll notice is almost every section will have an entrance exit to the store, so it's pretty cool. Here's kind of a quick glimpse of all the kids' graphic tees that are available right now. I really like some of these. Like, I love that Buzz one, and I love the Slinky Dog one, and of course Pascal's adorable. Oh my gosh, that Rex one is cool, and that Beast one is literally me. I do it all the time. And the kids' tees are currently $15 each when you buy two for the ones that are regularly priced $17.99, $19.95, or $19.99 each. And here's just some more of the little girls' ones that are available. Oh, and here they have a rack with all the kids' sized spirit jerseys. I see Mickey and Minnie and just the black one. They have the Walt Disney World character one. I really like this one. And then they have the rainbow one. And, oh, they have the new Arendelle Aqua as well. They also have, with the kids, they sprinkle ears throughout of ones that kind of match the type of outfit that um, they're displaying. They will also be selling the current versions of, oh, it's really hot in this corner, of all the princess dresses. <laughs> and they don't have prices. That's helpful. Okay, it looks like they are $59.99, which is about standard. Um, these are the newest version, the most up-to-date. These are the same ones that would be available in the Bippity Boppity Boutique. However, if you are looking to get some of the ones that have been at the Character Warehouse, those ones are last seasons, so they're going to be a different design if you come into the park wearing those. But those are $24.99 versus $59.99. This is cute. This is one of the tiaras like you can get in your hair at the Bippity Boppity Boutique. They sell it here for $14.99. So if maybe you're like good at doing hair and you don't want to spend the hundred plus dollars to do the Bippity Boppity Boutique, I just realized they have two different designs too. They're the minis on the inside and there she's on the under. But um, if you can just get the stuff and do it yourself. Just the general boys and girls um, clothes. Just a traditional like Mickey themed or mini themed. And they have baby stuff. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Walt Disney World Resort is my playground. I love that. Oh, it's so cute. And I just, I love the baby girl Disney clothes. They're just amazing. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. They're little clip on mini ears. So instead, so if you have a little one that doesn't want to wear a headband, you can just put these on. I think they made these in adult size because I can't do the headbands. These are only $9.99, which is not bad. So I have a whole section of little girls jewelry, and some of them are brand new. Uh, I do see some that's just in. And they range in price from about $14.99 to about $25. And it looks like these postcard earring ones are on sale, $10 each when you buy two, normally $14.99 each. And then the next room is split into two parts based whether you come into the back or the front. Um, we're gonna start in the back because that's where I'm standing, and this is the men's section. And here is just a quick overview of the adult men's tees that are available. I really like that one. I haven't seen it before. And I love how the stars are stars and little white Mickey ears. That's so cute. Now the adult tee sales, it's $22 each when you buy two, regularly $24.99 each. Oh my gosh, they have some ones I haven't seen before, like the original VHS covers. Those are great. And I'm still convinced I need to get Lee that Drama Llama shirt for Christmas. Oh, I really like this one, the most magical place on earth, Walt Disney World. <laughs> and then there's this pink um, Queen of the Castle t-shirt as well. This one's really cute. Although you gotta watch because some of them are messed up. And then directly behind the t-shirt stand, they have the quotes t-shirts, which are also fun, that just have different quotes from Walt Disney. And then we're gonna kind of loop around before we go into the really small final section. Um, we do get into a stand with socks and this kind of brings us into the lady section. The lady section's broken down a little differently, like here's just Mickey stuff. Here's like a spot with hair stuff, so they have the headbands, they have some different hair ties available because you always need them, you're always running out. It looks like they have the Hornet Mansion, the It's a Small World, and the Dole Whip headbands currently. <gasps> I just realized I forgot to switch backpacks. I'm still using my old backpacks. Oh my gosh, I was running out the house and totally forgot. I gotta do that when I get home. But they do have all the new release current backpacks here in the lady section. They have a whole section of just leggings that have all the leggings that they have now. Teacups, 
the Mickey Mouse ears, the trend, the delish ones, the balloons, the haunted mansion, the castle. Then it actually is more than fits on that rack, so it spreads out. And we have the small world, the Disney dogs, the Disney cats, and then there's the castle ones. And each one is paired with a shirt that would match what match it. I'm surprised this set is still here um, because a lot of the sets that were released after this are already in the outlets. But this is the I'm here for set. And it's I'm here for the food, I'm here for the rides, I'm here for the ears. And then these are that Forever by Junk Food. These you want to look at because some of them have really weird... Like this shirt has a frayed end. So I don't know how well the shirt would hold up to washing because it doesn't have an actual like edge to it, a hem. It just has a frayed edge, it's very weird. So on the far end, when we first walked in was the Mickey section, this is the mini section. And they have kind of broken down into all different, they have some shoes, a little bit of the jewelry, some hats, ears, all kinds of different stuff mishmash together. They do have a pretty good selection of Alex and Annie's here. <gasps> what is this one? Ooh, that is an Evil Queen one. I haven't seen that one before for $44.99. That is gorgeous. They have the new Beauty and the Beast line. This is the bell with the rose for $44.99. And they also, they also have a Magic Mirror Alex and Annie. This one has some weight to it and it's $44.99 as well. So they also have a Malficent one. Oh, this is a cool one too. And I love the black bands so much. And Malficent is also $44.99. Oh, and it looks like they also have the 50th anniversary of the Haunted Mansion, 50 years of happy haunts. Alex and Annie has made it up to the front of the park here. And this one is $49.99, but that's because it's two-sided. And then the very last section of women's does have um, a lot of the more current release items. So because of the holidays, they've moved the Magic Mirror collection, the Imagination Pink, and they also have the full Arendelle Aqua line. And I actually see something that I did not see at the um, AP preview. I did not see this pillow the day of the AP preview. This is wicked cool. It's silver on one side, and it's the super iridescent sparkly aqua, the same one that's on the kids' t-shirt on the other side. This is like almost hurts your eyes sparkly. And this is $26.99, which isn't terrible. Looks like they only have two of the windbreakers here. They have, I believe this is a Fantasyland one and the Tomorrowland. And these are, I forget how much. And those are $50. And they have the whole Arendelle Aqua set, like I said. And you hear that in the background? That is the Festival of Fantasy Parade. Perfect timing. They have some of them. This is those castle ears. Now this is the Briar Rose Gold line. They have all of that here. And that's these two walls. Oh, they have a Briar Rose Gold in the pillow too. And it is the Millennial Pink on one side and the Briar Rose Gold on the other. Again, $26.99. Then they have the Magic Mirror collection, but they only have two items from the Imagination Pink. They only have the sweatshirt and the little plastic bracelet from the Imagination Pink. They also have the new Star Wars Spirit Jersey here. I really like this one. And then my favorite purple one, I do own this one. It just needs to get a little colder because it's still too hot. And just the black Spirit Jersey. And they still have the purple lounge fly here for $90, holy Hannah. I love that they even have socks to match your leggings. So like they have the Disney dog socks, they have a teacup set of socks, they have a small world set of socks. These aren't the right color, but they do have a set of snack socks as well. That's too funny. And then there's one very last section of the store right before you hit Casey's Corner. And this is always just like a strange mod podge of stuff. There's never a specific something you're going to find here. So right now it's kind of just some traditional Mickey clothes. They have some of the rainbow sets of Mickey. Here they have the full 2019 line where that used to be up where the Halloween stuff is. Now it's moved back here. And they do have the full line still and it cracks me up because this shirt is actually the one i wore in the vlog yesterday to brunch at california grill it is here for 64.99 i paid 20 bucks at the warehouse and then you just come into casey's corners and then you can exit back and it exits you right out by crystal palace
And now I'm just gonna sit on the lawn and wait for the parade to pass so I can keep on with my day. breathe for me. That's it. Put your head up. Yes. Do it. Come on. Do it. Do it. Do it. notification bell so you always know when a new video is headed your way. Thank you so much for watching and now we're on to the next adventure. Bye guys!